Alrighty guys and gals, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I am Big E and we are back on our Torin Druid. He goes by the name of Biceps. Hello. Hello says he, we're hanging out here in Thunder Bluff. And last episode, something pretty major happened. We are able to teleport to the Moonglade and we are going to do that because we have this Druid specific quest. Use the spell Teleport Moonglade to travel to Moonglade. When you arrive, speak with Dendrite Starblaze in the village of Nighthaven. And we're going to do this right now. Well, wait a minute. One moment. I'll tell you what we're going to do right now. We are going to run. We're going to go back to Bloodhoof Village. I don't want to use this, the Hearthstone. We're going to run down to... Bloodhoof Village, turn in this quest. Uh, I need to check my mail first. I think we put a few things on the auction house. Then we will teleport to Moonglade. That way I have a way to get back. Fairly easy. Oh my, looks like we might have made some money here. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. We just made 21 gold. <laughs> So this is the same server that my Dwarf Hunter Finn was on, but there are so little Alliance on the server, I wasn't able to make any money. Oh, boy. Massive lag spike right there. I don't think we're going to... Yeah, we can make... Uh-oh, this is going to be close. Going to be close, going to be close, going to be close. We got it. I wouldn't try that in a hardcore challenge. <laughs> boy, that is nice. So now, well, hold on. Now we've got to spend a little money here. <laughs> yes, let's spend a little money. We could buy some bags, is what we're going to do. Might even be able to buy a little, some little bit of gear. But since, uh, so Biceps here is on the same server, White Main. And it's dominated by the Horde, which means uh, there's plenty of my faction to buy things that I post. All the big giant torrents. We've got the, the war bear going on. We're going to go see our buddy uh, Gullum because he doesn't get any love. Everybody goes over here and hangs out. Let's see what we have here. Let's see. Container. Bag. Usable. Search. We'll sort this by the cheapest. Whoops. Here we go. Could probably get us some 10 slaughters. We don't need anything amazing. Eight slaughters, about a gold, 10 slots. Okay. Well, considering we just made some money here, I feel pretty good. We're going to buy this one. We're going to buy the large red sack. Uh, we have two more slots we can do here. Oh, that... Oh, that's a bid only? Yeah, that's a bid only, not a buy. However, yeah, we'll just keep doing this. We'll buy, uh, let's get four bags here. Why not? We can afford them now. Don't have to worry about bag space for a bit. And let's check out some armor. We can wear leather right now. Probably not going to find a headpiece or a shoulder piece. Might find a chest piece. Here we go. We want to sort this by item level. That's how I generally do it. That is a pretty good upgrade for us, and we're going to take it. That is perfect. This one's actually cheaper. Oh, that's right, because it sorts by bid price. Keep an eye on that. It does sort by bid price, but let's just go ahead and buy that. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I thought it was scanning, doing something I didn't want it to do. Um... There we go. I don't know why it was showing me that. Ah, uh, we don't think we want any of this. That's way too much money. Actually, it's not. I thought it was more expensive. Um, this, since this is not a massive upgrade, 
not going to worry about it. I really kind of want something with agility. Or, or uh, some intellect and agility, something like that. That's not too bad. It's five gold, though. I'll tell you what. Agility and stamina. This is better. It's five gold. Do I want to spend five gold? I don't think I do. We'll get the pants. It's just a gold. I know it's not the best, but I don't want to spend all of the money we've just made here. And that's too much. Just too much for that level. That... Yeah, Int Spirit does help us out. And it's only a gold. Get it? That's a gold. Strength and Int. It's not too bad. We're going to be cat form and or bear form. And... I'm going to go for these. That's three. Now, let's look at cloth items. We might be able... Now, we're not going to find a headpiece. Definitely not. Shoulders, I don't think so either. But we will find a back piece in here. Stamina. Can't go wrong with stamina, right? It's not too bad. Agility and spirit. That's pretty interesting. And it's only a gold. Spirit does... Well, it helps us out in this form. But when we get into cat form and... Bear form, it's energy and rage, right? So, we're going to buy this one. Is that the cheaper one? No, it is not. This is, well, that's of the bear. Let's buy this one. Wait, quick quick look at weapons here. Um, What are we currently rocking? Let's just do this. No, it's not much up here. We currently have a quarter staff. We have a terrible, terrible weapon. We're looking for a stat stick. Now, this is good. That's a not bad. That little bit of nature damage there. Increases attack power. Not too bad. This, oh, it's five gold, but that's pretty good. Agility and spirit. Oh, we I can't afford it. Okay, we're done. We're done. We sp we spend it as quick as we make it. <laughs> Look at this. What do you think's going on here? Greetings. Peace, friend. Oh, they're NPCs. I thought these were like uh, dual boxing or something. <laughs> they just happen to stop at the same place, I guess. All right, here we go. Yeah. Just, I think we spent 10 gold right there. But you know what? <laughs> Worth, in my opinion. Let's see. We want a red bag first. Then we want a green bag. And then we'll go both of these. Hello. There we are. Increases our bag spot quite a bit. We can put this one in the bank. And we can sell this other stuff. Let's go sell this really quick. Look at this guy's hat. Where did he get this hat? I've only seen this on an NPC before. The Haliscan brimmed hat? Oh, it is from Don Carlos. I was going to say, this is the only place I've ever seen that. That looks pretty interesting on a Torin. Yeah, he's just this guy. Oh, man, this guy's transmog. Is fantastic, dude. I'm gonna let him know. That is an awesome Xmog. Show him some love right there, man. <laughs> that dude's got it going on. That is pretty cool. Ah, uh, I have just the thing for you. Alrighty, so we're gonna. S oh, I didn't equip my stuff. <laughs> Yeah, man. Let's uh, let's equip all of this. The pants. Oh, this feels pretty good. Yes. Do that. The bracers. Do that. The hands. Do that. The back. Do that. That helps us out quite a bit. And we'll sell. Just sell this old stuff. Now, we've already done this... Um, We've already done this, but it's a unique item. 
And am I wanting to keep this? I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sell that and sell that. I was saving them. Now we can move our quest items there. But we're gonna put our uh, we're gonna use that bag, put it in the bank. Quest item and quest item. I like to keep down here. Let me see what happens to this thing. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. Yeah, I've already completed, so I'm just gonna delete this item because I don't know what else to do with it. It just kind of hangs around. I know I'm getting pretty distracted. Yeah, the guy says, thank you, thank you. Yeah, awesome transmog right there, man. You wish to speak? I wish to purchase a slot. There we are. And um, I guess we're good to go here. Hang on to this stuff. Actually throw that in there. We shall meet again. All right. Let's do this. We will continue. Hope you guys and gals are doing well today. I'm not doing too bad. Finishing off my iced protein powder. Iced coffee flavor. Pretty good for after my workout. It's actually perfect, you know. It's a little bit healthier than coffee. Although coffee, you know, depending on what you put in it, coffee's not too bad, you know. Now, if you're loading it down and making it taste like a milkshake, yeah. <laughs> to each their own. Let's, what are we looking like now? Not looking too bad. Yeah. I love how it highlights the color of the item that you have here. Pretty cool. Yeah, we're all green. Feels a lot better. I don't feel quite as squishy. So we'll head back to Bloodhoof Village here. We'll turn in this quest, and we're going to take a portal to Moonglade. We're going to see what's going down with this bear form. Oops, it's going to run right by a wolf. Okay, come on. Do we have any skill? Yes, we do have skill. Yes, we do have skill. We're also still uh, looking for Mazaranchi. We did find, see him the first time. I should have, should have slayed it, but I thought I had to wait to do it. So I can't wait to try a little PvP. See if we can get into some dungeons. In fact, when can we get into a dungeon? I don't think we can get into a dungeon just yet, can we? Yeah, I can't get into dungeons yet. Right? Is that right? No. no. Oh, I can actually get into a war song. Right, I'd be at the very bottom. <laughs> Which would not be good. Uh, just with 19 twinks, which I'm sure that is a thing on the server. It would We would not have a good time. We would not have a good time. <laughs> yeah, I can't see dungeons yet. Okay. What is the first dungeon we can do? Uh, let's switch this to classic. Rage Fire Chasm. All right. Goodness. Go in as DPS. Ought to be fun. Da -da 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 -da. Let's turn our switch tracker on. We'll track herbs and nodes, and we will keep collecting and keep selling and make some money. Keep our character good to go here. Also, I do have to pick up... Uh, I should have picked up the uh, the cooking, fishing, and first aid. I want to get all of the, the secondary professions. 
I like doing that. Feels a bit. I, don't know, I get more, a little bit more immersed in the game when I can fish and then use the, the fish to cook meals and things like that. Looks like Kylie got away again, or Kyle. He's fine. He's a puppy dog. Let's also turn this up a little bit. Take the ground clutter up, and how's this going to affect the game? I've got a decent enough card where it shouldn't affect it. But I've noticed having the ground clutter way up, the characters moving, it creates a little bit of waviness and blurriness, which I don't, I don't really like. And I've, wow, that's actually looking really weird on my OBS. Is it that? Is it coming through that bad? No, I don't. Okay, I don't need the water that high. Sun shafts. Everything is up. It's actually up further than it recommends. I don't know why I'm not. I wonder if it's because I have this set. That is why. Now, shadow quality, I'm going to... So, I see what happens. It just slides it back. I just... Shadow quality can be low. This helps a ton. What does that look like? Hold on, guys. I hope that looks okay. I think it looks different over here because this is my 1080p monitor. But I'm record I'm capturing on the 2K, but I don't think it's coming through. I hope that doesn't show up on camera. I'll be very disappointed if it does. But my graphics card and processor I should be able to handle this beautifully. Anyway, let's get immersed back the into the game here. Guide you. Biceps, do you have the teeth I asked for? Yes, I do. Walk. With the earth. Very good. I can feel the sacrifice of the land in this offering, and my spirit swells with sadness and pride. Go in peace. Your cleansing of the winter hoof and thunderhorn wells is spoken among the spirits, young biceps. The wild main totem is made, and your last task lies ahead. The wild main water well lies north of Thunder Bluff. Perform the ritual. Heal the land of the goblins' poisons. Let clean water flow once again. We shall meet again. We will do this, but right now, we are on a mission. Let's teleport. Explore Moonglade. Alrighty, let's check in here. Pretty awesome place. Pretty awesome place. Here he is. I am on it. Dendrite Starblaze. Greetings, Druid. You are welcome in Nighthaven as well as all of Moonglade. The Cenary Circle welcomes all beings who respect the authority and command of nature. While you are here, please be sure to prefer, preserve the balance in all things. Disturbances are not welcome here, and our wardens are trained to cease all hostilities without question. I wonder if this means like attacking other players. Can Horde get in here? Yeah, they can, right? Yeah, there's a way in here. Good luck, friend. I mean, Alliance. And so it begins, Father Cenarius. And so it begins. Dendrite makes a quick, invisible gesture in the air above him. A slight aura of power falls over him. The first perspective of nature you must adapt to is that of the bear. I will put you on the path to understanding this aspect of druidic life, but it is you that must embrace and propagate it now and forever. Go in peace. Great bear spirit. In the northwest... God, I can move this. In the northwest part of Moonglade resides the home of a wise and noble being we call the Great Bear Spirit. For all druids, it has served as a tutor and mentor in the first true natural understanding of the bear. 
All druids at one point seek the Spirit's wisdom, and you shall be no exception. Go to the great bear spirit now and learn what it will teach. When it is satisfied with you, return to me here in Nighthaven. We will then see if you have truly taken account of the lessons it teaches. May the stars guide you. Let's do this. Look at that bright and vivid this grass is. We shall find the bear up this way. have discovered the Shrine of Remulos. No, we've discovered Moonglade. Interesting. Here he is. Here he is. Great Bear Spirit. The Bear Spirit looks upon you with a calm and peaceful gaze. You hear a voice speak to you as though it was coming from the bear. But the creature makes no indication that it is speaking. Greetings, my young friend. If you have come to me seeking guidance, then perhaps... I can help you find what you seek. What do you represent, Spirit? I represent the strength which bolsters you as a young druid. You have come to me to learn this strength, young one, and I will teach this to you. I will teach you all that is the Spirit bear, provided you will listen and understand. In order to know what it means to draw upon my Spirit, you need to understand the importance of the strength of the body as well as the strength of the heart. I do seek to understand this importance. Strength of the body is the power and swiftness of action. You must keep yourself fit at all times, both physically and mentally. The bear's girth highlights its strength as its ferocious foe in combat. The bear's girth, however, belies its lith and agility and sharp mind. These are surprises you will use to your advantage. You must rely on the strength of the bear's body in order to master the way of the claw, I seek to understand the importance of strength and of the heart. Strength of the heart is what gives you the resolve to take action, action that is rooted in intents that are pure and forthright. To keep the balance is not to be complacent or banal. You must show resolve for that which you believe in, and you must be willing to fight for it. The mother bear shows endless conviction in protecting her young, as does an elder bear protecting his den. It is this resolve, this strength of heart, which you must come to know if you are to master the way of the claw. I have heard your words, great bear spirit, and I understand. I now seek your blessings to fully learn the way of the claw. Yes. It remains to be seen if you are ready, young one, even the wisest and oldest of druids are never truly ready when their ultimate time of testing comes. You have heard my words, and now you must move on. Heed what I have taught you. There will be a time when you will have your strength tested. You must face your foe as the bear would, with strength of body and with strength of heart. Learn from the fight, young one. Go with my blessing. There we are. There we are. Let us return. I believe we will learn how to shapeshift into a bear. We will also be learning cat form, of course. Our aquatic form, which I believe is like a sea lion... Not that familiar with Druid, but I also know there's Flight Form, which is a much higher level. And I feel like uh, there's another form. Druids can go, depending on how you spec, right? They can uh, do all kinds of... Oh! It's not the right place, is it? 
No, it is not. He's up here. I know. I have very little experience with Druid. Very little. I've never leveled a Druid to max. As a matter of fact, my very first character back in 2004, Vanilla, was a Night Elf Druid named Dragul, but I never got it to max level. I started playing a different character. Here we are. What brings you here? Great Bear Spirit. Farewell. Dendret makes another invisible gesture in the air above him as you approach. Another aura of power comes over him, and he smiles ever so slightly. I sense wisdom in you, young one, that was not present when we first met. Your gaze upon me with strength and knowing intent. Through this intent is shot net focused. Nice reading. You will now learn to focus your strength and adopt the nature of the bear into your work. Denadris. The time has come for us to part ways, young one, as the application of your lessons takes you back to whom that sent you to me. Though the Torin are thought to be young in the ways of Cenarius, Torek Rune Totem walks with much balance in the presence of nature. Listen to his instructions and you will soon complete your first lessons in your role as a protector of balance. Go now, young one. We shall meet again. Return to Thunder Bluff. Go in peace. I will go in peace. So, from here... We could... There's a flight path here that druids can take that will take you over this way. But we can just hearth back to Bloodhiff Village. However, we kind of need to be up here. I think what I'm going to do here... Let's do a little bit of exploring. Since we're here. We can come down this way and pick up the flight point, and then we can fly to Thunder Bluff. And I will need to change my Hearthstone. I probably will set it to Thunder Bluff. However, the next area we're going into is going to be the Barrens. The famous Barrens. So I believe only druids can use these flight points. There's one for Horde and one for Alliance. They don't show on the map because I believe you have to be a druid to use these. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's correct. Yeah. Thunder Bluff? Oh, that goes to Darnassus. Ah, uh, I've been expecting you. Guess I don't really need to go down and get the flight point since this actually goes. Ancestors. I didn't realize this would take us here. Yeah, we are the horde, so I can't go to Dornassus. <laughs> I mean, I can, but it's not going to turn out well for us. Let's move this a little bit here. Um, I'm going to turn my grid on. I'm going to move these down, other lock. Let me move these a little bit here. Disappear. Let's move these down this way. Let's unlock this one. Nice thing about the dominoes. Um, the grid here is you, it really helps line things up. We'll lock that one and we'll lock this one. There we are. Boy, I should have got a couple of screenshots back there. Missed opportunity. But I believe we're going to be able to transform into a bear, and that's going to be a great thumbnail. Torn on a wyvern. Interesting creature. It's a combination of what? What would you call this? What are wyverns? I don't know. Somebody could probably look it up. Like a lion? A large bat? 
I don't know. It'd be interesting to find out what the mythology is of the wyvern, if there even is such a thing. I'm sure there is, right? I did find out I do have a dead pixel on my monitor. This, the monitor is brand new. It's just one pixel. Now, you guys can't see it, but it's it's like right in here. Really disappointing, but I, I could return the monitor for a replacement or refund. But that, that would mean I'd have to put my 1080 monitor back in and change all of my settings in OBS, the webcam, everything changes when I do that. So I don't think I'm I'm going to be bothered with it. Now, what I might try to do, if I'm going to get a second, I think if I get a second monitor, I don't know how much time I have for returns, but if I can get a second monitor here, replace this one, I'll put the second monitor here and then I'll do a return on this one if they let me do it. They should. Something like this. And this was a dead pixel right out of the box, too. Unfortunately. But, you know, this wasn't a cheap monitor. I mean, not for me it wasn't cheap, so... Problem is, I can't do that till the end of the month if I go that route. But I think I will. See if I can... I just don't want to switch everything back. It's I have to change every single scene. It has to be changed back from 2K to 1080. And then I have to redo all the OBS stream settings for upscaling again. And I don't want to have to bother with it. And it's not really noticeable. I know I'm complaining about it. it the only time it's noticeable is if there's like a you know clear white background, then I can see it. I always I keep thinking there's something on the monitor. So I reach up to uh, move it, but it doesn't go away. All kinds of quests we can do here. We could also quest in Durotar. These are all going to be green quests for us. We'll make our way in here. Can't wait to get cat form. I don't know what level we get it. But that'll be fun. So when does this come out? This comes out... I think it's a Friday. Happy Friday to everybody. Should be streaming this weekend. Feel free to stop by. I usually stream Saturdays and Sundays. I start between a 10 and 11 a.m. Mountain Time, U.S. Always have so much fun with the viewers. And uh, this weekend we're going to be doing stuff. We have two guilds. Well, actually we have three, but the retail guild is it was just a spur of the moment fun little thing that we did. Might do something with that in the future. I don't know. But this weekend, we're going to be um, in Classic Era on the White Main server. If you're interested, just roll a character on the Horde side, whatever you want. The name of that guild is It's What Plants Crave. <laughs> and my character's name is Brondo. <laughs> Great movie. It's from a movie called Idiocracy by Mike Judge. Hilarious. And um, I'm not sure which day we'll do which one, but we're also going to be in Classic Wrath. Uh, we are on the Adiesh server, and we are Alliance. And the name of that guild is the Misty Mountain Gaming Company, or Misty Mountain Gaming Co. I think it's just Misty Mountain Gaming Co. Yeah, you are welcome to join. Just whisper anybody... 
and you uh, you'll get you'll get an invite there. Happy to have you. We have a lot of fun. So in classic era, we're going to be running Ragefire Chasm. Run it a couple times. And in Wrath, I don't know what we're going to be doing. Be running some dungeons, maybe some PvP. My dwarf hunter is he's all uh he's all geared up. Well, he's got the the brutal stuff, I think is what it's called. 70 to 79 bracket or whatever. Looking forward to getting to level 80. I hear it's a much longer, slower grind for the 80 gear. But going to have fun doing it. Here we go. Here he is, Tora. What brings you here? Welcome back, Biceps. I sense that your first meeting with the Great Bear Spirit is the same as it is with all druids when they first start down the path of the Claw. A little bewildering, but very intense. I know it was that way with me. The Great Spirit has been a part of Azeroth as long as Azeroth, Azeroth has existed in the heavens. We Torin listen closely to such spirits, and we all prosper from its purpose. Now the time has come for your first test of this purpose. Listen closely. We shall meet. Again. Body and heart. On land west of Taraho in the Barrens, just before it turns into Mulgor, lies a Moonkin stone. The Moonkin are special beasts, not native to these parts. Lunaclaw at the stone's defender will face you when Cenarian lunar dust is applied to it. Lunar Claw poses within it a strength that you must use as one of the Claw. You've earned the right to use this Cenarian Lunar Dust, Biceps. Now show me that you've earned the right to possess the strength of body and the strength of heart needed as a Druid. Go in peace. We will do this. Greetings. Not going to worry about that. Be careful. All right, well, we're doing this. Going to be a bit of a run here. Actually, we can, uh, we'll take a shortcut. Yes, we can. We're good to go here. Uh, we do still have this to do, and we are going to do it, but right now we're going to hearth. Do I want to do this? Yes, because I can s I could fly back here once we... Because we are going to discover Camp Taraho. We can use that flight point. But for right now, let's get this done. Here we are. Let's make our journey. Got a few more things to do for our people, and we will do all of these quests. Finish everything in the area. If you guys aren't... Well, I have a theory about what this is. <laughs> Blizzard does has a great sense of humor, and they put little things in the game. So when I wrestled in high school, there was uh, an activity, part of a workout that we did in practice called Bull in the Ring. And if you notice, there is a bull in the ring. And what you do is the coach, so you form a circle, the team forms a circle, and the coach picks somebody. He goes into the middle, then he picks another person, and they that person goes in, and they wrestle. And whoever wins stays in the middle, and he does that. And I'm pretty sure that's what's going on there. Any wrestlers would probably recognize that. I don't know if that's still a thing in practice, wrestling practice, but it was when uh, when I wrestled. I didn't wrestle very long. But, um, yeah. Let's go get this. Let's turn this on. There it goes. I wish I'd wrestled longer, but um, high school wasn't wasn't my thing. High school wasn't for me. I, uh, I I didn't last very long in high school. As a matter of fact, I was expelled from high school. Yeah, I didn't go to class. I was skipping. I got into fights. All kinds of stuff. I was uh, really messed up as a kid. 
but I wrestled for a short period of time and I broke this guy's arm. Um, accidentally, I broke it in a while we were wrestling. Tell me I aid you. And it really kind of freaked me out. Farewell. Goodbye. Oh, let's pick up both of these. Ancestors watch over you. And I'll Hail. I'll I'll read these. Be careful. It's too far away. There you go, brother. Moonwalker. That's a good one for him. I don't think he has that one yet. Anyway, I I I quit the team shortly after that. Anyway, what do we pick up here? The Venture Company. So I brought him the item that we gathered from the Ragged Caravan back there. It says, this explains the buildup of Venture Company employees and equipment we've seen in Mulgore. Those goblins, their company is expanding too quickly for their own good. It's how they say, show a goblin something and you can hear the scales in the background. <laughs> The goblins are all about profit. Greedy little things they are. Unfortunately for their business enterprise, we torn cannot allow them to conduct their operation in our lands. Go to the mine northeast of the Ravage Caravan and send them a message. He wants us to kill 14 workers and six supervisors. We also have Supervisor Fizzbrocket. Kill Supervisor Fizzbrocket and return his clipboard to Morin Cloudstalker. At Bloodhoof Village. According to the documents you salvaged from the caravan, the venture company created many plans to attempt to drive us from our lands here so that they could have free reign to plunder. The depths that they would sink to accomplish their goals disgusts and appalls me. I want the mastermind behind their plans killed. His name is Supervisor Fizzbrocket. You will find him at the venture company mine east of the ragged, ravaged caravan. Yes. And uh, that is back there in the mine. The mine, even, that's one of the last things we'll do. And when we do that quest, I do have a short little story. I We went in there on a hardcore challenge, and boy, <laughs> was it interesting. Got this reddish, brownish glow here. Camp Tarajo. Here we go. Alrighty. So the stone you're looking for, if you don't know, is back here. I just wanted to get that flight point. I did this in the reverse order. Can I loot this? Can I get Briarthorn yet? No, I cannot. We don't want to tangle with anything in here. Target. Not yet. So this is where you'll find them. Of course, if you're using Questy, you don't you don't really have to search. But a pee on here. Can I not jump over this fence, man? <laughs> I do believe we have to battle here. Testing our strength is what's going to happen here. Doubled up on that. Not too good. I do wish they made these just a little... A little bit more of a challenge. The slain spirit of Lunaclaw stares at you intently as though wanting something from you. You have fought well, spirit. I ask you to grant me the strength of your body and the strength of your heart. The spirit looks intently into your eyes and grasps your hand. You feel a warmth shoot through your body, almost knocking you to your knees. As the warmth passes, passes you feel the slight presence of an your shrine spirits within your being, bolstering your resolve. Not sure I said that word correctly, but I played it off like I did. That has been completed. Oh my goodness. 
That's a that's a wrecking. <laughs> All right, now we can take the flight point back. And we should learn our bear form. I think that's how it's going to work. It's very convenient that uh, all the pants and belts we get have a hole cut conveniently for the, uh, the torn tail. It's nice. That is a delivery quest. Let's pick this up in case for some reason I we come in from a different way and I miss this quest here. Peace, friend. Peace, friend. Peace, brother. Back to Thunderbluff. Go in peace. We'll set our hearthstone up there. All right, we'll call this an episode. Let me get back, get that bear form. And then, well, I got some work to do, finish up today, but uh, I'm thinking about live streaming. If I'm not live streaming today, which again, it's a Wednesday for me, two days ago for you guys and gals, I might just record the episode. It depends on my energy level. I like to have good energy, uh, you know. It just works out better. And I'm going to do a quick cutscene. I just saw something come in over here. This is something I got to answer for work. I will do a quick cutscene and I will be right back with you. A one, a two, a skiddly diddly do. And we are back. Didn't take very long. Let's go check back in. There's travel form. Ooh, looks like we get that. Oh, that's right. We'll get that at level 20, I believe. Ow. Walk with the Earth Mother. You have finally taken your large step into a much larger world, Biceps. I sense the teaching of the Great Bear Spirit within you, and I sense that you have received the strength that Luna Claw possessed. There are no further obstacles in your way. Let me now teach you what it means to be a druid of the Claw. May the eternal sun. There it is. Awesome, awesome, awesome shapeshift bear. I have to put these on the bar. But here we go. We have growl. But I'm not going to put these on the bar yet because I think once I pop into this, yeah, stuff will change. So let's do this. And mall, we'll put here. There we are. Well. Look at us. Look at us. Now we got to get a good thumbnail. We need to be in the sunlight, right? We need to show this off. What do you think? There he is. There he is. Maybe one from this side. All right. Thank you very much for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. You guys and gals, take care. Biceps and I will see you on Saturday. Can I do a goodbye here? I don't think so. Well, I don't have a key bound. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. See you guys. Take care. Peace.